Hello Year 8, today we're going on with formulas and relationships. So we're going to jump straight into the examples. Example number one, the charge for hiring a ball is 150 plus 2N, where N stands for the number of people at the event. Find the charge when there are 225 people at the event. So let's say that that is C, the charge, is equal to 50 plus 2N. Okay, so what I have here, this 225, that is the number of people. That is the N, and I have to substitute that into the equation. So I write the equation down again. So C for charge equals, I have 150 plus 2, but instead of writing N, I'm going to replace the N with the 225. Now also, because the 2 is next to the n, it needs to be multiplied, so 2 times 225. Okay, now we just need to type that into the calculator to find the answer. So we have 150 plus 2 times by 225. Okay, that makes 600. So the charge would be $600. Part B, the number of people at the event if the charge is $394. Okay, so using the formula C equals 150 plus 2N, this $394 is the charge, it's the C. So I'm going to substitute that in. The charge is 394 and that equals 150 plus 2n. Now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find the number of people. I'm trying to find the n. Okay, so this is where the equations part come in. I need to get rid of those other two numbers that are with the n. Now, the order in which I do it, the n has been multiplied by 2 and then plus 150. So in reverse order, I have to deal with the 150 first. So at the moment it's a positive 150, so I have to subtract 150 to make those ones there cancel out. Now because I like my pronumeral on the left hand side, I'm going to move that 2n over to the left. And that will be equal to 394 take away the 150, so 244. Okay, now I want to get rid of the 2. So because it's multiplied with the n, I need to divide both sides by 2. Cross those ones off. n is now by itself. And on the calculator, I need to divide 244 by 2. So that makes 122 people. Okay, so if there are 122 people at an event, it would cost $394. Okay, so this is using formulas and equations to help us find pronumerals. Let's look at example number two. Using the perimeter formula, P equals two bracket L plus W, find the perimeter when L equals 13 and W equals four. Okay, so this is our formula. Oops, that one there. So let's sub in what we know. We don't know the P, so we're going to have P equals two bracket, L is 13, then we have a plus sign, W, which is four. Close the brackets. So then we just need to type that in the calculator. Two bracket, 13 plus four equals 34. So if the length is 13 and the width is 4, that means that the perimeter is 34. Okay, let's go on to part B. Now we want to find the L if we know that P is 36 and W equals 7. So again, this is the formula that we're using. This time I am told the P so instead of P, we substitute in the 36. So it's 36 equals 
then the formula says 2 bracket L. I don't have a value for L, so that letter is going to stay in there. Then I have plus W, but W is 7, so L plus 7, close brackets. Now I want to solve that to find out what L is. So we have an equation with some brackets. So the first thing I'm going to do is expand those brackets out. So the 36 is going to stay over here. Then I'm going to go 2 times L, that's 2L, and 2 times 7, which is 14. Okay, so now I have two pronumerals to move away from that L. The first one to go is going to be the 14. So because it's positive 14, I'm going to subtract 14 from both sides. Okay, they will disappear. Now I'm going to switch the 2L to the left side and 36 take away 14 is 22. Okay, now I want to get rid of the 2. It's multiplied with the L, so I divide by 2. Cancel that off. So I'm running out of room here, but the L is now by itself, and 22 divided by 2 is 11. And part C, I want to find W when P equals 58 and L equals 16. So let's just move this so we can see the formula again. So our formula at the top here. This time P is equal to 58. So when I substitute that in, I'm going to have 58 equals 2 bracket um, L, but L is 16, so 16 plus, and I don't know W this time, so that stays in there. Okay, so again, I have an equation where I want to find the W, and I need to expand those brackets. So I do 2 times 16, got the 58 on the left side, 2 times 16 is 32, then I do 2 times W, which is a positive 2W. So now, I'm just going to tidy that one up a bit. Okay, now I want to move the two numbers away from the W. So there's a 2 here and there is a 32. So the first one I need to move is 32. Because it's positive, I need to subtract it to both sides. So we're going to do a switch here. We're going to put the 2W on the left and then we're going to do the 58 minus 32 which is 26 on the right. Now I need to get rid of the 2. So because it's multiplied, the opposite is to divide by 2. Cancel that off. W is now by itself. 26 divided by 2 makes 13. On the next page, question 3, we have a new formula. So T equals A plus bracket N minus 1 D. Okay. We want to find T if A equals 10, N equals 7, and D equals 4. So we just want to replace all those numbers in the formula. Now T is the one that I don't know, so we start there. T equals A, but A is 10, so 10 plus N is 7. So we're going to have a bracket, 7, take away 1, and then outside the bracket we have a D, which is 4. Okay, now if we type that into our calculator, because it's all the numbers are all on one side, so if we type that in, we get 10 plus bracket, 7, take away 1, close bracket, 4. Now that gave me an error, and the reason for that is because it doesn't like me having the number here at the end. So what I need to do to fix it is I need to put a multiplication sign in there. Okay, because the bracket next to that number does mean multiply. So let's do that again. 10 plus bracket 7 take away 1 close bracket and times by 4. So there we go, we get 34. And in part B, this time we're trying to find little d. 
we're told that capital T is 116, A equals 32 and N equals 13. So subbing those numbers into this starting equation here. So the T, that's what the first thing in the formula, T is equal to 116. Then equals, next thing in the formula is the little a, a is 32. Then there's a plus in the formula and a bracket. N, N is 13, we have a takeaway one, we close the bracket and then there's that little d that we need to find the value of. So normally I would say we would expand the brackets first, but the only thing that's in those brackets is numbers, we can actually subtract them. So let's tidy that up. We have 116 equals 32 plus 13 take away one is 12 D. So now I have an equation with two numbers that I need to move away from the D. So the first one that I need to move is the 32. So it's positive, so I need to subtract 32. Get rid of that. So we're going to switch sides. The 12W, sorry, 12D, sorry, is going to come to the left. And then on the other side, I'm going to have the 116 minus 32, which is 84. That goes on the right-hand side. Now to get rid of the 12, I need to divide by 12. Cancel that off. D is by itself, and I just need to do the 84 divided by 12, which is 7. Okay, that's it.